The end of spring break also means the end of a year-long preparation for Alpha Tau Omega's Walk Hard event. The 128.3-mile trek to Panama City Beach ended Wednesday with the walkers arriving in Pier Park. Walk Hard allows the brothers of ATO to raise money for their chosen philanthropy, and they did just that. This year for Walk Hard, we were um, able to get all 36 of our walkers down to the beach from a successful 128.3 mile walk um, and it culminated in us raising $90,000 for Jeep Sullivan's Outdoor Adventures. With the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the walkers had lowered their fundraising goals for this year, but with hard work, they exceeded their goal and set the record for the most money Walk Hard has ever raised. We kind of came into this year really hoping for 60000 I had a phone call earlier in the fall that, that this was really about, hey, um, just don't expect to raise a check higher than $40,000. COVID has really taken a toll on the economy. 40000 is just a really good number to shoot for. And so for us to have kind of come out of the other side and doubled that and then some, it's a huge blessing. I, I really just couldn't be more excited about it. With the new record set at $90,000, ATO is looking forward to the future of Walk Hard and hopefully exceeding that record once again. So the record that we kind of surpassed was $72,000 um, in 2019. So we, we, we lapped it around a couple good times. So um, I'm really excited about that. It was a really big milestone for our chapter and just seeing the growth of Walk Hard. So I'm really excited to see kind of where it takes off from here. I think it was a really good step in the right direction to see maybe numbers soon that'll be six digits. So All of the money raised will go to Jeep Sullivan's Outdoor Adventures for Wounded Veterans. The organization gives veterans the opportunity to connect with a group of people and experience the great outdoors on their trip. I always say the fun begins now because we get to see kind of the fruits of our labor throughout the year. Um, with how that money is spent. So that'll be different trips and different equipment that is necessary for those trips to make those veterans kind of have the best experience possible with Jeep and to kind of aid in that re rehabilitation. Claudia Peppenhorst, Troy, Trojan Vision News.